Now then, after signing their first record deal as teenagers, it wasn't long before McFly had seven number one singles and five top ten albums under their belt. Well, ten years after their last studio album, the boys are back. They're all brilliant. I was just going to say, God, you boys are brilliant. That's just incredible. It's so lovely to see you all. And I'm going to point out before anyone starts screaming at their TV sets, uh, the reason you are sitting next to each other is because you formed a close contact cohort. So, in lines with guidance, they are allowed yeah. to sit next to one each other. We so. can touch each other. Yes. Yeah, oh, don't. Allowed. I hate oh, it. I guess I remember just... those days. <laughs> those were the days. Um, boys, it's <laughs> lovely to see you. And I couldn't believe that when Phil just said it's been 10 years since you, your last studio album, I don't know where that time's gone. And Harry, it must have been lovely to get back together and do this. Yeah, it's great. It's been, uh, it's been amazing. The, uh, the past few days, obviously, our album came out on Friday. Um, yeah, 10 years since our last album is crazy. We've done a lot since then. You know, we did McBusted and we've, we've toured. But we had, some, we had some problems over the past three years. Um, but we're back. Uh, we love each other again now. Yeah. yeah. Yay. We fell well, out of love for a couple of years. Well, let, let's, uh, let's address that and then, we'll, then we can move on. Um, so, because that was part of a ITV documentary um, and the fact that it happens so often, you see, you know, sort of issues within a band um, and they separate, go their separate ways, but then come back again and things are better than they've ever been. What, what happened to you guys? <sighs> Lots. <laughs> Do you know what? It's, we just didn't communicate. And, you know, the one thing that... And we put so much pressure on the band, on McFly, and we lost sight of the thing that's really important, which is our friendship. And, you know, so that's... You know, it's been amazing getting through those, you know, the, the, the kind of issues. Because as long as we're friends and we focus on, you know, being nice to each other, <laughs> then the band will always happen. It'll always be there for us. And so, yeah, we're... We're, we're back together now and happy. And it's a long you... story and I think we were really grateful to make that documentary that went out on Saturday because it gave context to what's happened to the band over the past few years, so yeah. watch the doc. Yeah, precisely. <laughs> How are you, Doug? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good, thank you very much. How are you? Well, I'm very well, thank you. And, uh, and it's so, it, as I said, you know, what's lovely is that, uh, is that everyone is back together again. And do you think it will be, Dougie, a case of... Because um, I know you said in the documentary that the, the band was broken, your band was broken, you thought it was your fault. Now you're all back together again and now you have looked at friendship rather than, you know, sort of uh, the outside things. And um, that it will be better this time. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think we're a lot better at communicating now and I think we're, we're stronger than ever. And Danny, I mean, this is a really grown up thing to do, isn't it? And I think any relationships or uh, like for that sort of self discovery journey and sort of looking into yourself a bit is really important to people do it in relationships in marriages but to do it in a working relationship um it's, it's just a very grown-up sensible thing to do <laughs> we're grown up mcfly now <laughs> i think you are yeah it, you know what the, the talking has been the best thing in, in my life personally with any issues that i've had like learning to talk to someone um, is one of the best things I've ever done, you know, ever. And, you know, I could react to, some, to something that the boys have said to me, but then it's something outside of the band that's affecting me, and I didn't realise that, and it's finding out those things and mm. communicating. And, boys, you know what we're like? We're terrible. We're terrible at communicating. Like, even when we were communicating, we didn't do the band. It took our manager to say, I've booked the old two arena, who's in? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, let's look at what we can do in the future, because uh, I know that, firstly, you're going to launch your subscription channel, which is a brilliant idea. Such a good idea. Um, total, uh, total access. Um, and you've got, you've got your own McFly HQ, so that's, that's to come, that's, that's yes. pending. This is, we have, this is our announcement for you. It's exclusive here. So tell us about it. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we are, we're launching uh, McFly Total Access. So it's basically, it's basically like our own version of Netflix. Um, so it's the home, uh, it's a platform where we are going to be creating brand new content. It'll have all of the content we've done in the past, but brand new content moving forward. Um, and what's really exciting for us is that unlike Netflix actually, it's going to allow us to stream live concerts directly to our fans because, you know, it's been a, an uncertain, difficult year and for us what that meant was not being able to tour. You know, normally we get around the world and see our fans all the time and play live. That is what we do. 
And so not being able to do that was really difficult and we wanted to come up with a solution. So McFly Total Access is that solution. We didn't want to just do, you know, one-off pay-per-view concerts. We wanted a new platform where we could regularly play shows and play live and get it direct to our fans. Like and we realised that in order to do that, we needed not just a digital platform, we needed a physical home where we could create our own live venue. So that is where we are today. This is the new... McFly HQ. It's it like looks very cave, nice. Yeah. It looks yeah. very yeah. nice. <laughs> but you've been, I mean, you've been very brave. We're all sort of looking forward to next year and hoping this vaccine can mean that live music and theatres and all those things that we love the most come back. And you have got tickets on sale, so you are being very optimistic about this. Yeah, of course. You know, you have to be positive. It's obviously been a very difficult year for, for a lot of people out there. But um, we want to keep moving forward as a band. And, you know, this, this place, McFly Total Access, allows us to do that. As Tom said, we can stream shows here. We've got so many exciting plans for this place. And, and hopefully we can get out and play shows. But even if that is the case, this is McFly HQ, a very exciting uh, place for us. It launches this Friday um, at mcflytotalaccess.com. And the first thing that will be on the site is uh, the O2 concert that we played last year. That's the, that's the show that brought us back together as a band. And it's this Friday to the year that we played that show. So if you sign up to McFly Total Access, you'll get the O2. Um, and then moving forward, many, many more exciting things. So for us, it's a commitment together. It's renewing our vows as a band. Um, yeah. It's kind of moved in together again. Yeah. Yeah, and it's about our future, and, and this can run alongside live music. And hopefully, like you said, we can get that vaccine and get out and, and play shows. But this allows us also to stream shows and contents to all our fans around the world as well, not just in the UK. So we're very, very excited. It's a, it's a brilliant idea, and, uh, and it'll be a monster hit, I'm absolutely sure. We can't leave you today without talking to uh, Tom about Giovanna and watching her abs selling off a cliff I know. last she night. She did so well. Oh, my God. Um, how are you? <laughs> How am I? Yeah. yeah, get me out. I'm trying to solo parent three kids at home, so, um, you know, it's challenging. Get me out of here. <laughs> because you must have been, you must have been away from... It was from... amazing watching last night. It was so exciting. Um, it kind of feels like deja vu. Obviously, I went through it all a few years ago with, uh, when Doug was in the jungle, so I feel like doing it all again. Um, but it's, no, amazing to watch. Really fun to watch with the kids as well, watching Mummy do, uh, you know, get covered in bugs and jump off cliffs. Bonkers. And she gave them, did she give them that little signal last night? I saw that when they were all sat around the fire. She did that on her nose. Was that for the boys? Yeah, she did. She, she did that. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I lost you there. Uh, yeah, she, that was a, a little signal when she does that. That's a little signal to the kids. Oh, uh, you get in trouble for that. Do you? Oh. Oh, yeah. oh no, I didn't no, know. That's not her no, signal. I didn't mean that. Just squat, No, that's right. Just squat, Everybody does it. She's out. You've just done, and Holly just dumped her in it. No, but she did that. I mean, everybody does that. I remember. Yeah, everybody does it. I don't know what she was doing. Don't make me panic. Yeah, she's just doing it. Yeah, everybody does that. I mean, everybody does that. I remember. Yeah, everybody does that. I remember. <laughs> I think it was just a, it was a fly. It was a that fly. was a fly, it was a flyer. <laughs> um, good luck, yeah. with, uh, which, good luck with the channel, guys. Um, absolutely, it's lovely to talk to you. Um, and, uh, and of course, don't forget the, uh, the album as well. Uh, and that's uh, Young Dumb Thrills. Uh, it was out last Friday. And, uh, and it's a, uh, there it is, Ta there it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, guys. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Thank you so Bye. Much. Bye. 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 Bye.